what up it's jacob and welcome back to my channel jacob games and welcome back to assassin's creed valhalla this is part number 26 i think something like that 27 i don't know y'all know i can't even remember them numbers um last time out we what did we do i think we finished oh we had the wedding yeah it was the wedding and um ruid kind of tried to escape and Oswald showed mercy on him and locked him back. Actually, exiled him from the land. So, you know, yeah. And if you hear dogs barking, my dog's outside. And there's some dogs running around the back outside the gate. And they barking at him and stuff. So, if you hear kitty cats meowing, I got too many of them too. You know how it is. So, anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Uh. y'all right, we are back and uh this is where we left off we left off here with randavi uh, thank you i'm chelbert okay cool cool so he's thanking everybody for helping him out all right um so let's go ahead and talk to randavi speak what is this Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, and this settlement, and this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Well, let's go do it. Seems like it's a little side mission, so let's go ahead and check it out. Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. They're really doing it, huh? Cool. Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Let's go. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritja. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? Hey, swim? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Oh, look at you, Dewey. Um. <laughs> I don't even know how to get out there from here. <laughs> I ain't joking. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Randy. This has been a long journey and we still got 800 more meters to go. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, 
with Soma and everything. That was a cool little battle. The story arc we had. The game has been really good so far. So we're getting close to where we're supposed to be. Let's get it, baby. Bruh, get down. <laughs> and here we are. Welcome to Grant Bridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Definitely, bro. Like I said, she's been doing her thing. <laughs> Let's get a little bit closer and get in there. Y'all doing good today? I hope so. I got off work a little earlier than I have been this week, so I'm pretty happy about that. Well, is that a boy I see? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. Oh, I expected more people about Magni. Something happened. Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vod. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would oh, ease wow. my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. <laughs> Randy be said, if we out here, we gonna get it done. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randy. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the cool table for a day, here. and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do. And now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help you Magni being and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we fight them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never <laughs> tease one with such commanding authority. Yeah. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay you close. Here being a do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. So what is cool there? Right over there. Hmm. I wonder if we should try to be sneaky. I don't say what to do, but you know me, I like to sneak around a little bit here and there when I can, you know. Surely they do can see us, though.
cool. Oh, that's a big one. There's a treasure map over or a, a treasure over there. About to take on the big dude. Got him. Oh, I forgot I can do that. Yo, that was cool. Well. Oh, 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 okay. Come on. Oh. I'm getting whooped. I'm out of, out of, uh, yeah, it's all good. Got a couple of them high enough, see? I feel stronger already. Oh, got him. You ain't know, you ain't think he's gonna hit like that, huh, boy? Where's the other one at? He's hiding too. Look at him. There. She got hit right in the head, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. But that was funny. Anything else? Bandit journal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Get that horse now. Where's my horse at? Come on. Come on, you stallion, you noble steed. Randivy! You gonna do something? No? I bet. Alright, let's go. Good job, old Randivy. You did good. Say something, or you ain't gonna say nothing. That was a fierce war. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? <laughs> you ready for a fight? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At what home. What are you trying to do? Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Oh, Lord. I don't know. She's being real, you know what I'm saying, kind of... Kind of flirty with Eivor. At least, that's what it seems like to me. Come on, Magni. You got your horse back. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Avo. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Oh. Come on. Mm. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. Let's do it, What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. You ain't ready. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. You ain't Randy, ready. We can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. Oh. Let's do it. All right. Let us drink. You, you ain't ready for this, though. I'm telling you now. I don't lose it is. Let's 
told you, bro. tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randri. So, so sorry about the dogs barking. Are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come. We'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Oh, Randri. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall. Close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right. One last stop, then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy. Return any time. Oh, man, I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no. Thank you. Safe travels. Let me go check on these dogs, bruh. Oh my goodness. I'll be right back. All right. So uh, hopefully that's the last in the record. Where are we headed now, girl? Oh, there you go. I guess we're going to follow the road until we get there. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. Dang, I name you player. Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. Well, let's go there, then. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? Can I answer the question? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing <laughs> happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. Hmm. I mean, she's asking some fair questions, you know. Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. All right. Taking the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Girl is all about the venture. Keep up! 
Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You think you're about to outclimb me? You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. <laughs> Is that so? This game would like respond to what I'm doing. <laughs> I could get up here. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower in furs soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting, sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you view. for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down. What Hold was on. that? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, oh no, I am. I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I. I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there's no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is. I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, last episode, old boy was talking about his plow sword. Now this girl, girl, you married, man. Like, I can't, I can't do that to Seager. I know that we're supposedly supposed to turn on him later on or whatever because of what the seer said. In like the first gameplay. I just don't know if I can do it, you know? I'm gonna do this right here. I am honored by your feelings, Ranvi. But I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. And that's what we're gonna do too. Taken for granted. Alright, cool. Hold on, he's gonna tell us how many we did we get? Dang, we got it's crazy. Um, so let's go because I wanna do I wanna do carrying the torch. That's, uh, I think her name is Toby. I don't know how to draw without your hand to guide me. Hmm. Toby. 
Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. Hmm. Let's listen silently. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. And know you are valued. I'm sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend. So he was a tattoo artist. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of the gods. You have taught Tony well. Through her, you live on. When I close my eyes, Sven, hmm. I see your designs on the arms of the gods. Man, that's sad, but it's, it's cool. They... This game got so much more depth in it than I thought it was gonna have. Cause at first I was like, you know, there's gonna be a bunch of raiding and stuff, and you're just gonna be pillaging. But you can have love interests and all types of stuff. So it's pretty cool, and the people you help out leave you letters and all that. It, there's a lot of depth to this game, which is good. Good to see you. You too. Eivor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was... restless. A quiet walk alone clears the head. And you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your company. And your friendship. And you for yours. Now, shall we get back to it? Well, that's cool. Oh my goodness, you can still pursue it. What the heck? All right, let's do this and then we'll end the video. I want to see the Alliance map. But that's cool, you can, you know, go through it all, I guess. So these two places are good. We can actually do this one too, because I'm, mm, we ain't there yet. <laughs> Let's do, uh, Oxnifordshire. What of Oxnifordshire? Oxnifordshire. Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there.
should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Cool. So you can keep talking to her? Nah. I should go. I'll be good. I don't want to do that. I just, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, y'all, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Why is it so dark in here? Um, thank y'all for watching. Uh, let me know what y'all think about how this story is developing. Um, when we get back, we will go do the Brewing Rebellion. And also, we still have this assassination we need to do. So, yeah, we have that as well. So we may do both. Hopefully there's some kind of something along this line here of, uh, like a place we can raid. You know, anything like that. Um, I don't know if London has, it's like a place we can go to right now, but, um, yeah, next time out, we will continue with the Brewing Rebellion. So again, thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. I'm out.